What? The first possible date of kidding is two weeks away, so I shouldn't be playing with makeup and drinking wine? What? Guys, it's my favorite time of year. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, goat kids, I mean, really, it just, fall has everything. And I guess, you know, winter-ish. But not like winter, winter, only fall, winter. I guess what I'm saying is I am easily distractible right now. And I just looked at the calendar and realized that Rhiannon is due in two weeks and five days, what? which means that her first possible delivery date is two weeks away, 14 days, and the barn is not ready. The kids are trying to get Rhiannon in the barn. She's the first one due to kid, and she is by far my most spastic goat. I'll tell you what, the first time this goat kicks me on the milk stand or knocks over a bucket of milk, she's on the sale list. Forget it. Starve. I don't care, Rhiannon. Oh my god, she just went in the barn by herself. Rhiannon, we have never to date tried to kill you, tried to poison you. We rarely give you a shot. What we do like to do is feed you and pet you. All right, I'm gonna check her ligaments just a little bit just so I can get a baseline of how they feel. Goat's ligaments that you check when they're close to kidding are like two pencil lines that go from their hip bones to these pins back here. And they feel like two pencils. And then as they get closer to labor, they get really smooshy. Hey Scarlett. Do I have to keep holding her? No, you can let her go. Hey Scarlett. Now that I've gotten my workout, not even doing what I meant to come down here and do, which was figure out how I'm going to organize the barn. Huh. Let's just add Rhiannon's attitude to the list of challenges that I'm going to encounter this kidding season. Last year, Kenny bought me these Primagate panels from Premier One and they worked amazingly for kidding season. It allowed me to separate the doughs when needed, but the flexibility to open up space when I was just moving all the kids at night. And I also have a spot back here that makes an extra kidding stall. So really making sure that I have three usable kidding stalls at a time is the number one priority. Let's look at stall number one. Right now it contains a cat bed, but soon this is where I intend to have everyone deliver. It's the biggest stall and the easiest to get in and out of. When the kids are ready to be separated from their moms at night so I can milk in the morning, this is the stall that they will all go in. It allows them to be just across the fence line from their mom so they're not as upset. And uh, it will also be a creep feeder as they get bigger. Oh my gosh, two weeks. How does this creep up on me every time? I mean, you think 145 days is a really long time and it's not. It's never enough time to be prepared. This is actually a dog bed I brought down here for the cats because only one dog actually uses these beds outside. But sorry cats, you're gonna have to find somewhere else to sleep for now. A few things that I wanna have in this first kidding stall. I wanna have a dish for minerals. It's important that as I'm putting goats in there because I think they're close to kidding or I'm putting them in there overnight so that they're in a confined space in case they do kid, that they have access to all of the nutrition that they need. So I have that mineral feeder, I'll make sure there's a hay feeder in there and then I'm gonna make sure there is a, a place to hang a water bucket as well. And hang the water bucket, don't sit it in there because a goat could deliver and drop a kid in a bucket and that's bad news for everyone. 
I sent the kids off to ask Kenny if he could find something for me. Oh look, a skull. I told you, we like the spooky stuff here. I have these super cool hay feeders. They're metal, you can throw a couple flakes in here super easily. And then they've got these bags over them so that people like Scout, yes, I said people, people like Scout, right? You're people, you're people. People like Scout aren't wasting hay. Well, anyway, I have a third one that I wanna put in this kidding stall back there, uh, but I can't find the parts. I blame Kenny. They used to be right over here next to the wall, but then he obviously made me put them away somewhere and now I can't find them. That's why I don't put things away. Now I'm gonna have to move a heat lamp over here because there's only a light here, but no heat lamp right now. So I'm gonna double check that I've got everything that I need up here and then we'll get that moved. After I close this window, cause it's kinda chilly. Woo, hi, sorry kitty. Well, that's not good news. I need to hook an eye over there. I have to remove staples from the heat lamp to move it. This is definitely not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. And earlier I yelled at Kenny that I could do this by myself. So now I can't go ask him for help. All right, Robbie, I'm gonna need your help because I yelled at your dad and told him I could do this by myself. And uh, you know, you can't. I can't. <laughs> Wait, is this going the right direction? Yeah. Whew, my shoulders aren't that strong. I would say like I Whew. Okay, the hook's in. Hey Momo. Hey uh Robbie? Yeah. Come here. Um I left the orange electrical toolbox outside the garage door. Can you go get it please? Um, yeah. Uh, I'm the boss of you. Go get it. When you think you can't, just put on some lipstick, pour some wine, and tell yourself you can. That's really gender non-specific advice. I mean, lipstick will empower you no matter who you are. Right, Emerson? Yeah. I put on tons of lipstick every day. <laughs> That's Except true. Except today. Kenny, being the perfectionist that he is, used um, electrical staples. They've got like plastic around them to hammer in, what's that thing called? Heat lamp, sorry. You know, it's Friday. My brain has done about all the work it can this week. So yeah. Heat lamp, the heat lamp wire. He staple hammered the staples in so that the wire wasn't rolling around, being a fire hazard, which is great. So I'm gonna do that on the other side, but I gotta take out those staples on this one so I can move it. So it's not that portable. Paw of a Ow! Ow! I pinched my hand. Robbie, can you look okay? in there and see if there's a hammer in there? <coughs> you can use the claw. Yep. Yeah. Here. Let's put there. this in the trash. No! Why would I want you to throw out the whole plier? I was just going to grab this. Why is this so heavy? You can help. I got it. Can I feel? Where's the thing? Where's the, where's the hook? Wait. I had a hook on here. Oh, there it is. Got the light hung. I'm gonna plug it in. Make sure that that light bulb is good. Check if I need to replace it. Ugh. I can't reach the outlet. I don't think it's a great idea if I put you on my back and then have you plug this in while I stand on a chair. I don't know. I have some pretty liberal uh, parenting methods, but I think that one might be too far on me. <sighs> Robbie! I guess in the meantime, I will make sure that this goes down far enough and the cord will still reach up there. We can at least hammer it in. Robbie's gonna go look for the ladder for me because gosh darn it, I said I could do this. <gasps> it works. Well, now I don't have a hammer, Robbie. Don't have a hammer? I don't have a hammer. Use a rock. I'm gonna use this. Do you think I can hammer those stables in with us? No. I 
I told Kenny I could do this and I did it. She did it. Yay. Yay. Oh boy, that is only one kidding stall. Me and my big mouth just always gotta be running my mouth, don't I? Always. So I still have to put up the hay feeder in there. I've gotta decide where the other two kidding stalls are going, where the milking stand is going in. Oh, this year I have a milking machine, so I need to figure out where that's going too. That's gonna have to be another video though. Or three, I don't know, a lot. Help. Check out when I got the Primagates last year and uh, how much I love my husband, even though today I yelled at him and told him I could do this by myself. Clearly I can, just not as fast as he can.